Hello, everyone. My name is Gabe Paez, founder and CEO at The Wild. And I'm so excited to see you all here today at AU 2021. So we know that sometimes doing things virtually can feel a little bit less personal. But I think you're going to find these next few minutes to be uniquely engaging in a way that you probably haven't seen on a live stream before. So ACC is undoubtedly one of the best tools for coordinating across the entire construction lifecycle. Yet still, details get missed when validating a built environment from behind a 2D screen. So if only we had that experience of walking the space once that project is complete, months or even years earlier while we're still in that planning phase. Think about the issues we could triage, the better decisions that we could make, how much time, money, and frustration could be absolutely avoided by aligning on the experience of that space rather than an abstraction of it. This is the gap in our current capabilities that we have an opportunity to fill with virtual reality. This technology is now more accessible than ever before. It's more affordable, it's more comfortable, thanks to devices like the $300 Oculus Quest 2. Today, we are going to highlight a simple and practical workflow to show you how easily you can collaborate in Autodesk Construction Cloud from virtual reality. We'll bring multiple people into a BIM model from across the world to show how easy it is to experience your work together in virtual reality. So two of the best ways for AEC teams to collaborate in VR today are with our industry leading tools, The Wild and Prospect by Iris VR. Together, both of these products span the entire design to construction spectrum with The Wild focusing primarily on early stage design and collaboration and Prospect for later stage coordination and construction. For today's conversation, we're specifically going to focus in on how you can use the wild to integrate directly with Autodesk Construction Cloud. We'll be saving a few minutes at the end of our demo for Q&A, so feel free to write in the question box as you watch, and I'll try to answer some of those questions at the end of the session. But first, I've got just a quick question for you. Where are you joining us from? I'm in San Francisco today, and I'd love to know where you're located and what company you're repping. So go ahead and drop that in the chat. Thanks, and um, now I'm gonna just pass it over to my colleague, Austin, who's gonna walk us through Autodesk Construction Cloud to the wild. Hey, I'm Austin with the Wilds, and today we're gonna talk about how your building team can take your projects from Autodesk Construction Cloud and seamlessly bring them into immersive VR experiences for better collaboration, coordination, and presentations at human scale. If your team uses or is interested in using Autodesk Construction Cloud, you understand the importance of having one perpetual source of truth to connect your workflows, teams, and data at every stage of the construction lifecycle. When we use Autodesk Construction Cloud, using the Autodesk Build tool, we have the ability to control our files that are connected across tools such as Revit or Navisworks. Within here, having the ability to cloud coordinate lets us either manually upload models or push them straight from Revit or Navisworks. In this case, I'm going to be uploading a Revit model to show how we can seamlessly connect this to a VR experience using the wild. Awesome. Now that it's uploaded, it takes just a couple more seconds to process. Within Autodesk Construction Cloud, it's great to integrate with other tools such as early stage meshes using tools like Point Fuse. But for today, we want to access this for VR collaboration and we want to do it in just a few clicks. So using the wild as an immersive collaboration platform, we have the ability to connect profiles to BIM 360. This is available for our premium plans. You can learn more about at thewild.com slash pricing. To connect your BIM 360 account, all you have to do is click to authorize data permission. And from there, you're now available to create any space through any model in your BIM 360 or Autodesk build account. So within the wild, you'll notice that it's composed of projects and spaces within these projects. Previously, we would have been able to manually import a space through most standard 3D formats of files. But in this case, I want to connect to BIM 360 to make sure that my team is looking at the latest model that we're all working on together and that it's perpetually updated. We'll see here that we have this conference center model as the Revit model, so I just need to give it a name and then create the model. 
And it just takes a matter of seconds for the wild to take that BIM 360 file and connect it to our cloud so that we have one synchronized space of this conference center that as changes are updated in BIM 360, they will automatically push to the wild. Okay, so let's see what it looks like if we want to actually share the space with some of our collaborators. All you have to do is add the emails of whoever you want to send it to, um, send them an invite, and then that will send off to them to where they can then double click on whatever device that they're using. In this case, I'm gonna be jumping in on desktop view so we can see what it looks like to there. hop there's in this workshop view. Yeah. And hey, Clay and Nick, good to see you guys in here. Hello. So I- Hey, how's it going? Hi, Austin. View. Hey. I see their avatars, I see their hand moving, and it feels like we're in this space together live in person. Clay and Nick, good to see you guys. Where are you calling in from? Yeah. Well, I'm in Portland, Oregon. And I'm in uh, Reykjavik, Iceland. Iceland, dang. Way across We're the world from each other. Truly stretch across the world, but still here present in the same space. And I do have to say, it feels like we really are standing in the same room together. We have the sense of scale looking down at this model at the dollhouse view, but also the ability to point and click, use our hands to interact, feel, move with this model. And with that, I know that everything that I see Nick and Claire are both seeing at the same time. For instance, if Nick, if you were to turn on or off the layer visibility of this building, I would know that we have the ability to have a shared sense of what's going on behind the space. Uh, yeah, just like that. So when we see that, for instance, maybe we wanna meet in this model for a quick master planning session. The ability to work with our hands in VR is invaluable. So maybe for instance, we want to build a parking unit behind here in this area with grass. Nick can use our massing tool to create some quick square 3D spatial sketches. In the meantime, while Clay can very quickly sketch out a pathway of how this would affect the flow of traffic moving in here. It's literally just a matter of seconds to start prototyping in here, getting some of those earlier ideas out, but also the ability to invite some of our clients in for some co-creation in VR to feel like they're the ones contributing to whatever designs we change in here in VR. So, okay, let's say now that we've got a good sense of what this parking garage looks like. Yep, that's a great, great roof over there, Nick. Let's actually teleport inside the model <laughs> to see what it looks like at one-to-one -one scale. And the, the difference of being able to play around as I'm seeing their avatars move in into the model, I'm still at that bird's eye view. Um, but guys, if you wouldn't mind following me, I'm actually gonna teleport into the front of this building here. And awesome, good to see you guys in here. So VR, is, this is where the power of VR really shines for when we're bringing people of different trades in. For instance, if we were to meet with some of our, with our subcontractors, we have the ability to query measurements that we wanna take um, Nick, maybe could we inspect some of the BIM metadata that's going on behind the ceiling over here, just so we can look at the data that came in from Revit. Oh, oh sorry, hang let's on. Let's check I, the ceiling I, here. I froze real quick. Yeah, let's, let's take a look at that BIM metadata behind the space over there. Perfect. So, yep, we see those analytical properties that came in from Revit. We understand the dimensions, phasing, constraints, this is where the VR comes from the cool to the useful to where we actually understand for design, a very important design decisions we wanna make for issue tracking. This tool for organizations is really invaluable that it can't be overstated that it saves time from what we would normally be doing in 2D collaboration into VR. And speaking of 2D collaboration, you can see Clay and Nick are actually pulling out a variety of assets of how we can communicate in this space. I know not everyone that works 3D. We do have the ability to look at that blueprint, um, maybe mark up spaces on that blueprint of where we are relative to our model, or even be able to import MP4s of videos of a drone flyover or something. Being able to move with these assets in the wild allows us to very quickly make design decisions that then we can take back out into the tools we're designing in, such as Revit. So, I kind of like the the measurements that we're taking over here. Nick, could you just take a quick photo of this view of where we're looking so that we can have this save to our devices for a later conversation? Of course. 
Dude, it's so weird. Okay, hang on. I'm going to pause this real quick. Okay, can you hold it? Okay, so we see right there that frame that Nick has put there saves as a perpetual camera that spits out an image, kind of like an old Kodak, that we can either take back to our desktop for review later, or we also know that there's a PDF that kicks out sharing the location of any comments or pictures that we save in the wild to make it easy to get back into our workflows. And what's more is as we're doing this Autodesk Construction Cloud workflow, any changes that occur in Revit or the master file, as it's pushed through BIM 360, this model will update with those changes live. So guys, thank you so much for joining in here. I'm gonna go ahead and kick it back over for our Q&A. Thank you guys so much for joining me in VR. Bye. Thank you, Austin, for sharing that workflow from Autodesk Construction Cloud to the wild. It's so great to see how easy it is for everyone to join from all of their different locations and share that space together in the wild. As I can see in our chat, we've got people joining right now from around the world. We've got Joseph in Omaha, Adam from Georgia. Think of how amazing it would be to stand inside of your BIM models together from all of these different places together inside of the wild. So if you'd like to try it out, honestly, just go to thewild.com AU 2021 and we can set you up. And um, right now, just for this event, we are actually doing a special promotion, which is a free Oculus Quest 2 and two months free uh, with your annual subscription that you purchase of the wild just for AU 2021. We've never done a promotion like this before. So if you're interested, now is a great time to visit that link. Just try it out for yourself, see how you like it, and then we can get you all set up. Okay, so it's time for our q and I'm going to dig through here. It looks like we've got one question. Um, are there file size limitations or limitations to the number of links inside of a project? Looks like um, Aracely asked that. <laughs> Um, so yes, there are file size limitations. We're running these models on um, mobile devices and we want a real time performance on side of those spaces. So you have to be prepared to optimize your content so that it can run efficiently on uh, these devices. We actually have a presentation tomorrow for uh, on specifically Revit and AJ is gonna, actually it's not tomorrow, it's on Thursday for Revit and AJ will be diving into that whole workflow and for our recommendations around optimizing content for virtual reality. So please attend that or check out the video after the conference and you'll be able to um, see details of how that all comes together. Uh, it looks like there aren't any other questions. I'll just take this opportunity to say, um, now's a great time to get started. Like I said at the top, the devices are, if you tried virtual reality back in the beginning days, it is a very different experience right now. I really recommend you try this latest crop of the headsets because it, it, it's just a transformative experience from the early days where we were in virtual reality for a few seconds and maybe you felt uncomfortable or awkward to really what is possible right now. So that's just on the device side and during this period, the capabilities of what is possible inside of a virtual space have just amplified at such an exciting level. So now is a great time to get started. I urge you to visit our website, thewild.com AU 2021 and get started today. We're gonna go ahead and leave it at that. Thank you so much for joining at me. Um, it was a pleasure to present to you today and I'll hope to see you very soon in the wild. Take care.